You know what I love? Telling you about videos you should watch that aren't mine. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, uh, on this channel, over two and a half years, uh, I've made 200 something videos, and I think you should watch most of them, if you're into DaVinci Resolve and all that. But, I also love directing your attention to uh, other videos, other channels, other creators uh, that you might have otherwise missed and that I see tremendous value in. That's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to tell you about two specific videos that talk about nodes in the Fusion page. G kind of. They talk about nodes. Um, that can be in the Fusion page. I'm gonna explain it all. But like I said, I also love uh, doing this more generally, which extends um, to the DaVinci Resolve Digest. Some of you might have seen, I did a series of shorts like a year or so ago, uh, talking about uh, new videos that have come out all about DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I've just brought that back as an email newsletter. Uh, if you want more info on that, uh, or if you wanna sign up for that, you can head over to sterlingsupply.co. Right on that front page is like an email opt-in thing. You can do that. Uh, there's also an option if you download any of my free uh, DaVinci Resolve like projects or uh, presets and templates, all of that. But in this video, we're talking specifically about two really cool videos. And one of them has under 500 views and it's great. I'm gonna keep recommending it. But like I said, both these videos are about nodes. One of them is specifically about nodes in the Fusion page of Dimitri Resolve. Um, but the other one, which we're gonna start with, is about simply working in a node-based system versus layers. And that video is, should you use layers or nodes for VFX complete analysis by Inlight VFX. This channel does phenomenal work. They also have a really, really cool video um, about using specifically DaVinci Resolve with Blender for compositing like 3D stuff. It's a super cool breakdown. But in this video, uh, which features like a musical number intro, it's wild. Players seem to be fine, the notes can be divine. The creator uh, breaks down this conversation between layers and nodes. Specifically, um, he references most uh, Nuke for uh, uh, the node-based system. Nuke is a node-based compositor, um, like Fusion. And luckily, speaking at it at this high level, um, a lot of it very easily applies to Fusion in general. I'm specifically talking about like order of operations and the flexibility of nodes versus layers. It's also incredibly well-produced. It's a great video. The video itself has done very well. I know a lot of people have seen this, but if you haven't, uh, maybe if you're coming from After Effects or maybe if you're just looking to get into this sort of world and considering maybe you wanna focus energy on After Effects, maybe you want to focus it on something like the Fusion page, which has nodes. I think this is an excellent overview of that discussion for you to really know what you're getting into. I do want to specifically point out, this is for VFX and compositing. On my channel, I tend to do a lot more of like motion uh, graphics and some light effects, as well as all the presets and plugins and stuff. So he absolutely looks at it through that lens, but a lot of general workflow stuff um, applies no matter what specific work you're doing in either piece of software. Next video I'm very excited to talk to you about is Nodes Aren't Scary uh, by Arthur Your Films. This video came out one month ago. Like I said, right now it has 482 views and Arthur's channel has 36 subscribers. So absolutely check this video out and send uh, Arthur your some love if you like it. Um, I think you will, even if you aren't super in depth or in fusion or want to commit to this. It also is just a good video, a very high production as well. This I would kind of consider more of an intro to nodes in Fusion and especially, uh, you know, looking at a lot of uh, those worries new users might have. You know, the title says nodes aren't scary. But the specific reason I really, really love this video um, is he goes even quite a bit deeper. He looks at specifically the merge node, which is, you know, a foundational tool in Fusion. And he gets into really the mechanics of how it is modifying your image. Talks about blending layers and masking and dealing with the alpha, all of that. He says early on, on, like in After Effects or with layers, you know, it, you're dealing with very clear layers that go on top of each other, but you know, those don't actually exist in space. The computer is putting those together and has to like do some stuff behind the scenes to actually make that happen. And a lot of what it is doing behind the scenes is a little more evident when you're using those merge nodes. Uh, anyway, he talked about lots of stuff, really cool video. It reminds me a lot of some videos I've seen from uh, Captain Disillusion, going a little bit more in depth to how, you know, computers uh, combine images and display images and deal with transparency and some of that work. But I think Arthur does a really good job um, and, you know, absolutely deserves some more attention for his work so you should go check out that as well. And like Arthur says, nodes aren't scary. So if you've been uh, putting off diving into the Fusion page 
Um, maybe if you've been working in Resolve for a while, but Fusion's sort of been uh, that scary area, I absolutely understand. That is a big reason why I've made so many Fusion effects and titles and presets that you can use completely on the edit page, because I know some people will never dive into the Fusion page, but if you want to, there's lots of flexibility there. I talk about lots of that power on this channel, um, so you know, while I'm recommending some other people, hey, if you want more Fusion stuff, that's also what I do. Um, as well as talk about other people I think you should watch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.